Hey everyone, Corey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, oh, actually I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of things, but the main thing I'm going to show you is how to make it where, uh, if you guys see that saw the intro that I made for uh, GAM522, I have the squares fall down, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that, which is also going to show you how to use like gravity, and um, also I found a different way, well I didn't find it, my friend told me a different way of making text, and I'm going to show you guys, um, because before I was, I told you to, you know, like put in the text and then make it 3D, well, uh, I'm going to show you an easier, quicker way. So first, uh, start up, make a new one, make a new, uh, I, I don't know what it's really called, document. And uh, also, I found out that you should always come up here to your render settings and then just change the output to what you're going to save it as. That way you can see it because I've worked with cameras before and then also make sure it's on all frames. I've worked on uh, with cameras before and then it was messed up and then I had to redo all the cameras because I was doing it on the, the little display. And then when I changed it to like the 1280 by 720, um, it, the stuff was like going over the edges and I couldn't see so uh, make sure you always like start out by that you don't have to really do anything just make sure you change the output to uh, the preset film and video and then uh, the HDV 720 or the HDV 1080 All right now we're going to put it in the text and this the easier way to do it is come up here to MoGraph right here and then go to text object and then as you can see it's already kind of 3D um, all you have to do is put in your text so uh, I'm gonna do game vids I guess you know, and then just choose your font. Wait for it to load. I choose Babass, and then I uh, I just align it in the middle. And then here, as you can see, to do the thickness, like with the extrude nerves before, all you have to do is change the depth. Um, I do like 120, and there we go. We got 3D fonts, like so. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in a floor. Uh, just move it down a little bit. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just throw in a floor. And make sure it doesn't cut off your text. Move your text up. Move your floor up. It doesn't really matter doesn't really matter. <clears throat> so next now we have to do is we're gonna have to make an emitter and what the emitter is is it's the thing that makes the blocks fall out. So first we're gonna make the emitter come up here and then uh, right here you don't have to change anything. Um, right here the start emission is at zero so it's gonna start at zero frames and then it's gonna go to a uh, stop emission. Um, if you want your intro to be really long like 300 frames then make it like 150 but I, I try to make it shorter so like 50 and also uh, the longer you like the the higher you make this the more stuff that's gonna come out and then also come down here and just click show objects that way when you put in the uh, stuff it's gonna show up and then you can just drag this where you want um, it's not a really big deal you'll you can you know after you make the stuff come out you can see where you want but just drag it up like so whatever now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the cubes that are gonna come out so we gotta go to cube make a cube and then make it whatever size you want uh, just make it completely square um, so like 30 30 30 like so and now we have a 30 30 cube that's in the floor you don't really have to move it and then just come down to fill it and then change this to like a radius to like 1 or 0.9 whatever um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it rounded just a little bit so it's not really sharp and it looks like a really sharp square falling out of the sky so now what you have to do with the cubes you're gonna have to make them a MoGraph um, because right now if we put them in the emitter nothing will happen because it just works with a MoGraph. So what you want to do is you want to come up to uh, MoGraph and then click Cloner Object and now we're going to click the cube and we're going to drag it up to we, so we get an arrow, a down arrow. Then just let go and then click the Cloner Object and as you can see we have three. We only want one so just change the count from three to one. You don't have to change anything else here. You just need to make it one and then we have a cloner object. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click the cloner object and we're going to drag it so it's with the emitter. So then it goes emitter and then uh, you know the cloner objects in the emitter and then the cubes in the cloner object. So then with the emitter uh, selected if you see right here we hit play cubes will come out of nothing and uh, they go back oh sorry burped sorry um, they'll come back and they'll go out like that and that looks really cool but now what we want to do is we want to make them fall and as you can see they don't fall so now we're gonna have to add the gravity and also the gravity will only work if you clone it because it has to be on a MoGraph because it's a MoGraph tag so right here with the um, cloner object selected uh, what you want to do is come over to tags right here go to MoGraph tags and then rigid body and what that's gonna do is uh, I'm not exactly what it what it actually does but it, it causes gravity and as you can see it's gravity now as you can see it's going through the floor and that's not what you want you want it to bounce off the floor so what you want to do is uh, you can come over to the text object nope floor sorry go over to the floor add another tag go to MoGraph rigid body and now if you can see it then it goes through the f uh, it stays on the floor it bounces and all that stuff 
Now you can uh, you can change where you want this position of the emitter. What you know whether you want to go up in the air some and then flop down, go down faster, angle it. You know it doesn't really matter how you want it. Uh, you can change it how you want it. But as you can see, the cubes go through the bo uh, through the text, and you know that looks kind of dumb. Now if you were to put the emitter away from the text, let's center this a little bit. Um, if you were to put the emitter away from the text, then it wouldn't really matter if you add it to the text. If I can get this to drag. There we go. Whatever, because now, you see, as you can see, it's not really affecting the text, and it doesn't matter if it doesn't go through the text or not. But uh, I like dropping it on the text, and then also I add gravity to the text, and then the text like reacts to it, I guess, and falls over and all that stuff if it's like rounded. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one more to the text object. You can come over here and click the rigged body and hold down control and then just drag it over to the text so you get a left arrow and that's going to add it to or you can just go up to tags, MoGraph tags, rigged body but as you can see now we have we have added gravity to the text. The only thing I don't like about this is the text falls over um, so try to keep it flat and as you can see the three was rounded here this is a pretty good font but now as you can see all my letters are falling over because of you know the gravity but other than that it's really good um, like I said if you don't want to add gravity if you just want to get rid of the text and you're just like hey you know you want to try this out then there you go that's all you gotta do now uh, we're also gonna add a sky just so you can have some light like a sky like that um, doesn't really matter and then you can you can you, you know you can customize everything uh, we're gonna just add a little color to the the cubes so we're gonna go to green and put on like a reflection of like 10 I don't know like so and then just drag it onto the cube and then if you render it out oops if you render it out then as you can see the cubes are like that um also you can add shadows or you can add a reflection to the floor it doesn't really matter but uh, another thing is like last time I told you guys how to do the the text I'm going to show you another way that I learned again from my friend his name is George Tomo Tomo yeah Tomo and uh, he showed me how to do this so what you want to do is after you make the text 3D and all that stuff choose the font you want I'll just leave it on that uh, center it. And then you can come to caps and then go to start caps, fillet cap, end cap, fillet cap, which is what I showed you before. Change the steps though to a three, and then change the radius to four, change the other steps to three, and change the radius to four. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what you put there, but just make sure that this one is the same, these two are the same. And then also if you add a text, like say we want the outside green, and then you can make another text, like a, and we'll make it a dark gray. We can drag that on like so and then right here in the selection of the dark gray of the and you always want the color that you want on the outside has to be on the inside and the color you want on the inside has to be on the outside and then just make sure you put a capital C and then the number one and then what that's gonna do is if we render it you can see there's green on the outside black on the inside well dark gray on the inside and then uh, that looks better than the whole extrude nerves it's you know it's less complicated and all that stuff and then if we were to add gravity to it we'll graph rigid you know we can bring this up and then gravity is actually going to make it fall oops brought it up too high uh, make sure you don't put it over the emitter it might mess up so control Z control Z uh, control Z is your best friend and then if you hit uh, play like so you make a drop like so and then the the cubes are dropping on it and all that stuff so you know you guys can mess around now you know how to add gravity um, Cameron, this is for you who didn't know how to do it, <laughs> and uh, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. But again, now I, you should know how to do do the fillet caps better, um, how to make 3D text faster. Um, you know, it doesn't take that long. Just go up to MoGraph text object, put in your text, text do. I don't know. Um, choose the thickness that you want, 120. Choose the fonts, center it or keep it like that. Add a f uh, caps fillet cap. Caps, fill it cap, make it three, four. Again, you can customize this. Three, four. Drag the outside color on, drag the inside color on, and then make sure it's a capital C and a one. If it's a lowercase, it will not work. So make sure it's capital. And there you go. You got text, textio. I don't even know why I put that. Um, but yeah, and then we can have the text falling on the textio. But as you can see, since I didn't make the textio 3D, I mean, have gravity, then it doesn't react to it. So we're just going to go over here, tags, MoGraph, rigid body, and as you can see, it's really fast to do this. And there you go, you know, text fell on it, cubes are falling on it, it doesn't really matter, you can make anything fall on it. And uh, hopefully now, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below, I'll try to help you out. Um, again, I am not the best at this, but, um, you know, 
it's it's not that simple if I can figure it out you know just take some time practice look at some tutorials watch this tutorial figure it out but I'll try to help you out the best I can and also for the render settings I'm going to show you real quick I have these on my website of pictures but I'll show you real quick how I render it um, what you want to do is you choose the preset film and video um, I use HD TV 720 uh, you don't have to change any of the rest of the stuff but right here on frame range go from all frame uh, make it all frames if you're going to do an animation if you're doing just a picture then current frames but all frames then go to save Put in the, the save name, so Textio, I don't know. I don't even know if that's a real word. But uh, then right here on the format, change it to QuickTime Movie. Um, you can save it at AZ AVI, but I would recommend QuickTime Movie. It seems a lot better. Then just hit um, the options right beside it. Go to Animation, Oops. Animation, 30 frames, 30 f best. Um, it should be like that all the time. And then all you have to do is go to Anti-Aliasing, go to anti I guess it's Alicing. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Elias. I don't know. And then just change it to best and then the filter to animation. And then you're good to go. And then just click here. And then it'll start rendering um, however long you want it. I'm going to render it real short. So I'm going to change it to 10 frames. There you go. Oops. Yes, replace. Um, if you already, and this way, like if it says replace, just like save over it. And as you can see, it's like dropping. The cubes are dropping out of here. Uh, and then you could add more effects to it, um, but I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just trying to keep it basic for you guys, trying not to confuse you guys as much as possible. And uh, it, you know, it does take a while to render. It doesn't take that long. Um, I add a special stuff to it, which is called the. F I use the effect ambient, ambient lighting, I think, and then global illumination. Um, I think it's ambient lighting. I don't know. Good effect. Am oh, ambient occlusion and uh, global illumination and it makes it so much better but it also makes the render time so much longer so I'm not going to show you but here if you save the video um, you might need to get um, quick time I had to because I didn't have it but there we go you know this isn't the whole intro I just saved like 10 seconds like uh, 10 frames but there as you can see that's all it is you know and then we have the gravity taking place up here the cubes are coming out so if you want to know how to do that or just make stuff fall and then uh, the bottom text will actually fall over too if this hits it. But yes, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. I know I talk a lot. I'm sorry. I try to throw as much as I can into a video. That way you're not watching like a 10 minute video just to learn one thing. But yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. If you have any comments to uh, comment on, uh, tell me how I can do better. If you know how to use this, what I could do better. Um, also, if you guys need any help with other tutorials, ask me and I'll try to figure it out and then explain it to you guys. And if you need any uh, help with this tutorial, or something in this tutorial then uh, just let me know and I'll try to help you out and I'll talk to you guys later have a great day